Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Demon Souls. Today, I'm going to show you a different way of taking down the Dragon God. Not really too crazy, but we did mention this in the main video and I said I was going to show it off. Also, I'm going to show an easy way to set it up. So you just, you know, do everything like you normally would, go in there, and up. I'm trying to get him to do his, uh, initial punch, but I guess I ran up here too quickly, just so that the slowdown isn't all there when I'm trying to do something. There we go. Solid, just freeze that you get for a couple of seconds. Now that that's out of the way, I thought there was a blockade there. I had forgotten that quickly. Switch to your bow and point at the blockade. Then, I use Flame Toss for this because it is the least mana intensive spell. But just throw some spells over at the blockade and you'll break through. I'm gonna head to the next one. Nope, we're good. Aim at the next blockade. Don't move. And start firing your spells. a little bit of a cheap tactic. Um, I mean, I've used it numerous times because it's safer. And overall, if you're just worried about dying to the Dragon God and you're trying to get pure White World tendency or whatever, yeah, you know, I'm not going to say don't use this. It's handy. Very handy, in fact. Um, the ones down here, however, are a little bit harder to line up for. Well, the first couple aren't. The later ones are. So once you have your thing lined up, just cast a couple spells. If you hear that sound of moving rock, that mean you can tell you're hitting it, which you're going to need for some of the later ones. From here, we're actually going to do the next two. I keep switching to the shield instead of to, uh, I don't know, I just, I, I'm switching my weapons wrong and it's confusing myself. So from here we're actually going to hit the next one. And you want to aim towards the left side due to the blockade and stuff on the right. There you go. If you aim about the same height I did, we'll hit the bottom of the left pillar. So now we'll just run ahead to that little archway. Right there. I think you can actually move ahead to the next archway, but like I can't tell if it's being blocked by the stones or not. Now, if you're doing it from here, this one's actually kind of hard to do. If you're casting with your right hand, the whatever you're casting will always hit the wall on the left, and if you're casting with your left hand, there's a chance you'll hit that wall on the right. See? Just, it, it's kind of hard to get exact and I have to readjust myself a couple of times don't aim too far to the left or else you'll hit those pillars right there but once you actually get the spell going off just aim at the middle right about there and there you go and actually what you saw right there I mentioned this in the main video mention it again arrows don't work on the blockades you have to use magic or melee them now I'm waiting for him to look away because you actually can't magic the last barrier. You're going to have to run up and attack it. But, you know, I sit here for a good 30 seconds and he's not looking away. So I'm like, you know, eh, forget it at this point. Just, just run for it. Come on, just run. Just go. Go. Yep, here we go. Fuck it. You can hear him yelling and about to cast his, uh, cast, breathe his fire. And once you get up here, don't forget about the crystal lizard.
Don't forget that your weapon sucks for killing crystal lizards. There we go. And let's fire the other ballista. Because there's one other thing I want to show off. Uh, I believe Tato mentioned this. Also, I don't know if I showed off that Master Ring in the main video, but yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, Tato mentioned this, and I'd actually like to show it off. I used the Dragon Bone Smasher to take him out last time. Obviously, melee is your quickest way to murder him, but if you have a good enough ranged weapon, you can just shoot his weak point, which is that little bottom horn? I don't know what to call that. I guess a horn, yeah. And with that, the Dragon God is easily dispatched. He's not really hard. Um, I prefer the more stealthy way of doing it, not using the magic. I used that in my first playthrough, but once I figured out how to, you know, effectively do it, do you know the normal attacking every time, I do that every other playthrough now. It just goes faster. So that's it for this highlight video. I thank you for watching it. And I will see you on Sunday for 1-3. I'll see you then.